Do you want to add rounded corners or these fun shapes to your webcam? Well, lucky for you in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly that. If that sounds good to you, then drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video. But I'll try and keep this video shorter than my, well, Never mind. First thing we need to do is open up our streaming software, whether that be OBS Studio, Streamlabs, whatever. I'm using OBS Studio, but it's pretty much the same exact thing for Streamlabs. All I have is a blank scene with just a little game capture with my new favorite game. It's basically only up but your frog. After that, we got to get ourselves some free webcam mask, which is hosted over on Elgato's website, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. These are completely free. They're going to give you 21 different fun shapes. You got to click on get and they're going to make you make an account, which is, I know, an annoying process, but it's free. So whatever. And while you're getting your hands on these free webcam masks, we might as well talk about today's sponsor, right? Own Pro is another useful tool that you can use to get free overlays or free webcam overlays. So I'll leave this link in the description as well. All you have to do is click on join for free or log in in the top right corner. Then they're gonna prompt you to log in with a Twitch account. If you're streaming on Kick or YouTube, just log in with the free Twitch account that you can make for free. So just log in with that. Once you log in, you'll be brought to the dashboard. But if you actually go to the scene builder option, you can choose for a single scene or a complete setup. If you do complete setup, you'll be able to pick automatic selection and create five different free overlay packages right here. But if you upgrade to the paid plan, you can switch between hundreds of different overlay packages at the ease of your fingertips. So if any of that sounds good to you, I'll leave a link in the description down below and a card in the top right corner showing you exactly how to set all this up for your channel. But by now, hopefully you've gone through the annoying process of having to make an Elgato account and then get the free thing. I know such an inconvenience, right? So once you get your hands on that free download over here, let's head over to your streaming software. So once you're in your streaming software, the first thing that we want to do is obviously add our webcam, right? So we're going to go and do that by adding a new source by clicking this little plus button. And then we're going to click video capture device. We can just call this webcam if I can spell correctly, which is a hard thing for me to do, quite honestly. We're going to hit OK. And then from here, we're going to pick our webcam from the list. I have two of the same camera, so I'm going to go for a YOLO and guess it's this one. Please pray for me. And nice. Let's go. So we got our webcam in our streaming software. Easy peasy, right? Well, the next step that we want to do is click OK. And now there's going to be two different ways to do this method. So I recommend watching all the way to the end because I prefer the second method, but I'll explain the differences in just a moment. So the first method is useful if you only have like one scene that you want to do this on. But if you want to have these different like shapes and different rounded corners for multiple different scenes, like a just chatting one, just chatting two, gameplay, whatever, then the second method is going to be better for you. But the first method we'll start off with because it's the easiest. So since we have our webcam right here, Obviously, you know, it's taken up the full screen depending on the size of it, which always matters, even if they say it doesn't. But just so you know, our webcam is above our game capture right here, but we'll we'll fix that in just a second. So the first thing that we want to do is actually go over to our webcam source. We're then going to right click and click on the filters option. Once we've done that, we're going to notice at least in OBS Studio, they have two separate sections for filters. They have an audio video filter, which we don't really care for. So if you're in OBS, make sure that you're using the effect filters. Mine happens to be on the bottom, but we're going to click the plus button and then we're going to pick the image mask slash blend filter. So you can call this whatever you want. Let's just say rounded edges, I guess, or rounded corners. It really depends because depending on what shape you're going to pick, it might not be that one. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Hit OK. And then for the very first thing that we need to change is we're going to change the type. So instead of being alpha mask color channel, that's not going to do crap. You're actually going to change it to the one below it, which is alpha mask alpha channel. So click on alpha mask alpha channel. And then now this is where we're going to pick our shape that we downloaded from that 21 pack from Elgato. So we're going to click on browse and navigate to that folder we downloaded. Mine looks something like this. It looks like it came with webcam frames, which we could add later. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But the one that we want is actually the image masks folder. So we're going to double click that. You're going to pick out whatever fun shape you want to use. I'm a basic B, so I'm just going to go for, let's say, the rounded square to keep things easy. They also have a soft rounded square in case you're feeling kind of soft, but I don't want to appear weak on stream. So I'm going to use rounded square. And now you can see that we have our rounded webcam overlay right there. So that's the easy part, right? So now we hit close and now we have our rounded webcam. So now that we've done that, you can see that we have that little like green screen effect on the side, which means that now we can just simply adjust the size to our liking for people that like it bigger or smaller, personal preference, I understand. But let's just say I wanna rock with this, right? Okay, well, that's cool. So now there's two other things we could do before we get to method two. So the second thing we could do is actually add that little frame that came with it. So we could just add a new source. It'll be an image source because it's a static image. We'll just call it webcam frame or overlay or whatever you want. Hit okay. 
And then now we're gonna click browse. And now we're gonna go back to the other folder, which is the webcam frames. We're gonna pick out whichever one that we used. So I'm gonna use the rounded square and not the soft rounded square, cause you know, we gotta make specific, but then we're gonna hit open. And now it's gonna add that there. So honestly, this probably would have been easier before I resized it, but whatever, hindsight's 2020. So we're gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna bring it over the webcam and kind of resize it to get the edge. Wow, that was actually like perfect. Holy cow, that was dope. All right, so if you wanna do that, like easy peasy, right? But let's say you don't wanna choose red. Well, you can simply click on that webcam frame, right click and add a new filter. Same thing, we're gonna add an effect filter, which it looks like we just have the effect filter and not the audio, which makes sense. So we're gonna add a new effect filter and we're gonna use the same thing. It's gonna be, just kidding. We're gonna use a color correction filter. And then you can just leave it like that, hit okay. And from here, we can actually just drag the hue shift and that'll change the color. So if you wanted to have like a cyan blue, which happens to be one of my favorite colors, just drag all the way to the right. You got all the different colors of the rainbow that you can choose from, but let's say that you actually don't really want to use this webcam frame and you wanted to add like a shadow effect. I actually use a shadow effect on my stream, so I'll show you how to do that real quick. So I'm actually going to delete the frame because I'm not really going to need it. It doesn't really matter because I'm just going to delete the whole thing. So I'm going to delete the webcam frame, but let's say we wanted to add like a shadow effect. So what we're going to do is actually add a new source we're gonna add a new image source and I'm just gonna call this shadow, hit okay. And then we're gonna browse for the actual, it's the image masks folder. So it's the same file that we used as an image mask, but instead of adding it as a filter, we're actually gonna add it as its own image. And I'll explain why in just a second. So we're gonna add whatever one you chose. So in this case, rounded square for me, I'm gonna hit open and then it's gonna bring this up, but you're probably like, well, Cody, shadows aren't white, you dumbass. And I would agree. So we're gonna right click that shadow source that we created, and then we're gonna hit filters. We're gonna add a new effect filter and change it to color correction, hit okay. And we're actually going to change the brightness slider all the way to the left, which is going to make it black. So then now we can also adjust the opacity to depend on like how strong we want our shadow to be. So if you want like a really thick shadow, then you'll drag it all the way to the right. But I usually seem to like it maybe right around here. So just a little bit, but it's gonna be personal preference and totally up to you. There's no right or wrong answer here. Customize those two sliders to you want, which really just customize the brightness to the left because you don't really have a choice in that. But anyways, hit the close button. And now we're gonna drag this one over to our webcam. But now you're like, okay, well, Cody, it's in front of it, you idiot. And that's all right. So we're gonna actually drag our shadow source below the webcam, just like that. And now you can't see it. So what you're gonna do now is click on the webcam source. You're gonna lock that bad boy. So then now when you click over it, you're just gonna be able to move the shadow behind it. So really you can kind of have like a drop shadow effect by making it go a little bit to the bottom and right, or really whatever angle you wanna do to add that like extra dimension. But it's really gonna be up to you on how you wanna make it look. I think this looks pretty dope. I think that adds like an extra layer and I think that looks sick. But if you wanted to go and edit like, oh man, I wanna make it more like see-through transparent, just go back to that shadow, right click and then hit filters and you'll be able to go and adjust that opacity to kind of make it, you know, more transparent or less transparent. So it's really up to you. So that's the first method and this is great if you're only having this in like one scene per se, right? So moving on to method two, this is gonna benefit you if you wanna have different webcam shapes for different scenes. So let's say I have a gameplay scene here and let's say we want the rounded camera here, but you know, on a day I wanna switch to another gameplay scene and have this be a star. Well, it, unfortunately, if we use that first method, let's say add a new source, video capture device, add existing our webcam, hit okay, it's already going to be the rounded corner. So we're not gonna be able to have different shapes for different scenes. So in order to work around that, we're gonna use this neat little trick. So in order to do that, we're first going to delete our different webcam sources that we've already created because we got to start from scratch, right? So I'll just get rid of the shadow as well. So let's just say I have scene two rounded and then scene two star. So for this scene, I want to have the rounded webcam and this scene, I want to have the star webcam. So in order to do that, we're going to add two more new scenes and I'm going to call this one webcam rounded. Okay. And then I'm going to add another one called webcam star. So I'm going to add two new scenes. So for the webcam rounded, we're just gonna add video capture device and we're gonna re-add that webcam source, but we're not gonna add any filters 
directly onto the webcam. You're probably getting wise to what's gonna happen here, but I'll explain. So we have webcam rounded and then webcam, easy. So now we go to webcam star and then we can add video capture device, add existing webcam, because we're just adding the same webcam source we just did, okay. So now we have essentially the same exact thing, which I guess I could have duplicated it to make it faster, but whatever. So now we have these two scenes, right? So if we go to our gameplay scene where we wanna have the rounded webcam, we're gonna go to the sources, click add new source. And instead of adding that video capture device source, we're actually gonna add a scene source. I know this is like scene sourceception, so stick with me. We're gonna click on scene and then we're gonna add existing so we're gonna do, where is it? Webcam rounded. So the webcam rounded scene for whatever we wanna use for our rounded webcam. So now we can do this. So if we go to the webcam rounded scene, we can right click on that scene and add a filter to that scene. So we can click add new effect filter, image mask, okay. And then change this one to alpha and then hit browse just like we were doing earlier. And I'm gonna double click on that rounded square, hit close. And then now if we go back to our rounded gameplay scene, then you can see that we have our same webcam with this rounded shape. So then now we can literally rinse and repeat the same process for the other one. So webcam star scene, we're gonna right click on that scene, add a new filter, we're gonna add a new image mask blend, hit okay, change this one to alpha, browse, and this time, let's say we want to have a star. Do they even have a star? Wow, I look like an idiot. I should have double checked that. Well, we're going to pick the one that looks closest to a star, which arguably, I guess, would be a diamond. So we're going to go for the diamond, hit OK. And then now we have our little diamond channel. God, I'm so stupid. Hit close. And now we can go to the scene star and add a new source that says scene. And we're going to go down to webcam star, even though it's not technically a star, but whatever. Hit OK. And now we have our webcam, the same webcam that we're using as a different shape. So that way you can have your rounded webcam and you could have your star, or in this case, a diamond webcam ready for your stream so you don't gotta mess around with stuff. So if you wanna keep leveling up your stream, continue watching this playlist to the side of me. My name's Cody and I will see you in the next one.